Once upon a time, there were three valiant heroes chosen by a magical artifact called the Trine. You may have heard another tale of how they met. Let me tell you a story of their latest adventure. Something mysterious and magical was taking place in the forest. First of the three heroes was Amadeus, a wizard. Not perhaps the bravest or the most powerful, but he was clever and sensible. Then there was Pontius the knight, fearless protector of the realm, who loved good food, drink, and battle. Last but not least was Zoya, a thief. An entrepreneur. An entrepreneur. She was mysterious and only seen as a passing shadow on a cloudy night. Amadeus the wizard was asleep in his cottage. It was a place where he could study his fireball spell, hidden from the scornful eye of his wife. Turn it off! I'm sleeping here! What is it? Who's there? How very strange! Half ahead was blocked, but this wouldn't stop the great wizard, Amadeus. With his magic, he could lift objects. Amadeus could also conjure boxes out of thin air. Light moved through the forest, leading Amadeus further. Torn between fear and wonder, he followed. I demand to know what's happening. The tribe. Not this again. Pontius! Amadeus! Get your things! We need to save the kingdom! What? Oh, this won't do at all, Pontius. I've children waiting for me to come home. I can't leave. But your magics are needed. The kingdom is in danger. <sighs> Will this nightmare ever be over? Despite his reluctance, Amadeus knew that the heroes were needed once more. How did you end up here? Let me tell you. Pontius had headed out that evening where there was trouble on the peasant farms. Creeping vines were taking over the fields. A war must be behind this devilry. I'll find him and teach him a lesson with my sword. Luck. There'll be pumpkin pie for dinner tonight. Pontius searched the farm, but saw no one there. The bastards must have fled at the sight of me! Oh! Oh, oh, oh. That 
looks dangerous. Show you what for? I'm Pontius the Brave, but I won't fall in a battle with dandelions. The train! Pontius had never understood what exactly the train did, but he knew that the artifact was there to help. So Pontius felt happy. He couldn't think of a better quest than saving his kingdom. Late that night, Zoya was concealed in the shadows, hidden from the shimmering moonlight. through the town as quietly as a whisper. Then she saw a glimmering light moving on top of the old church. Hmm. your old tricks and thievery. <laughs> oh, there's a perfectly good explanation for this. Tell me, where are we going? We don't really know yet. Something strange is going on. A new venture. Shall we go then? So the trine had come for the heroes, and the adventure was ready to begin. Amadeus worried for his family, while Pontius looked forward to their new quest. Zoya, of course, imagined what fabulous treasure they might find.
water is really powerful. I want to see if it works on potatoes as well. Intruders! Do you think we'll have to fight them? Get your pocky stick. We cook the big fat one. Attack! <gasps> Go. Charge! Is this what we're here for? Slaying goblins? A simple, straightforward quest. I don't. There's 
she goes. <laughs> she has a healthy appetite, that one. <gasps> What's that? Whatever it was, I'm glad it went the other way.
No, it's the air coming from those pipes. A jolly looking place. Look at the size of that thing. It's monstrous! <laughs> Thank you.
twin snakes and giant snails. Whatever next? Huge grilled pork, I hope. <laughs> Who are these strange people? I better keep my eye on them. The trine had brought our heroes to a strange forest where they had encountered goblins and enormous creatures. After facing the perils of the forlorn ruins, they came to a great big steaming swamp. However, they were unaware that someone was now following their journey with great interest. <laughs> 